Hey guys, how y'all doing today? Welcome back. I feel like it's been a while. Um, today, I'm going to make the theme of this video a prepper checkup, kind of like an all-inclusive uh, self-checkup, kind of. And I had to write this down because I tend to um, overwhelm myself when I get on the camera and words get difficult to form. I could have a perfect thought all put together and then I get on the camera and I forget everything. So I wrote this down. Forgive me for reading it. Um, Obi's behind me over here being crazy, of course. Um, so here we go, a prepper checkup. So you may have all the stuff it takes to call yourself a prepper. The food stockpile, the water filters, the gas stoves, the candles, self-defense mechanisms, on and on and on. But do you have the mental fortitude, the physical ability, the skills, and the knowledge to do the stuff that really makes you a prepper? And that's what I'm gonna talk about today. So one important thing to do as a prepper is to give yourself a checkup every once in a while, the self checkup. Um, just like you'd go to the doctor for a yearly exam, uh, look yourself in the mirror, Contemplate your mental state, your spiritual state, your physical state, and your financial state because all of these things will have an effect on your ability to execute your plans as a prepper and to act in a stuff hits the fan situation. As preppers, we all do inventories. We inventory our um, stockpile, we inventory our candles, we inventory our gasoline, our, all this stuff. We, we inventory everything. Make sure to do an inventory on yourself. <laughs> um, identify the areas that you need work on and make a plan to address them and execute it. So over the last month or so, I have done a checkup on myself and I realized that I am in terrible physical shape. I'm not saying this because I want people to say, oh no, you're not. I am, I've been eating terribly, I've not been exercising, um, it's taken a toll on me and I'm not getting any younger. Maybe 10 years ago I could, you know, eat whatever I want and still feel perfectly fine, but I'm getting older and this lifestyle is not <laughs> sustainable. So um, things that I've been noticing lately is that gained weight, um, it's getting more difficult to do little things like run and chase my dog down the street when he gets out of the garage. Um, lifting things, uh, just like minor things that normal human beings should be able to do. Um, just, I just don't feel comfortable with myself right now. Um, I have less energy and I feel tired all the time. I was chalking it up to the fact that I work a lot, but really I know that it has a lot to do with my diet. Um, so I, I told myself I have to do something. 2020 was a crazy year and a lot of people gained weight mostly because of lockdowns, um, eating poorly because of stress and anxiety. Some people picked up drinking habits and bad habits, um, not getting outdoors as much, not doing your normal exercises, not going to the gym. Um, but I'm not going to make excuses and blame, blame all this on 2020. It was my decision, my choice. As a prepper, you need to be healthy. You need to be able to do the physical things. Um, I want to, but start a garden, so I need to be able to tend to my garden. I need to be able to carry a bug out bag. I have a bug out bag, I can carry it, but I haven't, you know, walked miles and miles with it, so I don't know, it's heavy. Um, you need to be able to cut firewood, build shelter, um, say we're out and about and my son gets injured or something and I need to be able to carry him. He's like almost 90 pounds. I need to be able to at least put him on my back and walk in case he were to get injured. I don't have anyone else to depend on, it's me. So I need to be able to do the things. Um, being in good health and good physical shape is also good for your mental health, which is very important as a prepper. And your diet is, has a huge effect on your mental health and your happiness. You need your mind to be sharp, be able to problem solve, adapt, and overcome situations that life may throw at you. That is like a number one key thing for a prepper. Anyway. Long story short, yesterday I decided that I was going to, I was going to address this issue. So um, I made up my Walmart shopping cart for my Walmart pickup and I filled it with all the groceries I would need to start my keto diet. I've done keto very successfully before 
And so I'm going to do that again just to get myself feeling better. And um, maybe, you know, after I lose some weight or whatever, I'm not going to uh, keep on that diet, but do want to cut out on the carbs. Anyway, I'm going to make some changes. After I made my little shopping list, my Walmart list, I sat down and I was like, okay, I'm going to wash some prepper now. Preparedness now, actually. And um, I settled in and the video that he put on last night was called health is key. So to me, that was like a sign that I was on the right track and maybe other people are feeling the same thing. It's time to get healthy and address some of the other issues that are going to be paramount in a stuff hits the fan situation. Not only having the stuff, but being able to use the stuff and do the stuff. So stay tuned for my little haul that I did today. And thank you guys for watching my long spiel. Okay guys, so this is what I got today. I'm calling this my keto haul. Um, I know keto is one of those things that people are like, oh, it's a fad diet and all this, but um, I've done it before, um, actually in 2019 for about eight or nine months, and I have never felt better in my life, honestly. So um, in my mission to get healthier and um, just feel better all around, I'm going to go ahead and do it again. So this is my keto haul, um, not a traditional prepper haul, but being healthy is part of prepping. So I'm going to go down the line and show you what I got, starting from these. These are um, Joseph's Pita Bread. It's oat bran, whole wheat. I think there's flax in there too. I can't remember. Um, but these things, yeah, you're not supposed to do bread on keto, but um, I found that I can do these little tiny pitas. Um, along, you know, if I'm having a good day and my carbs are low, they only have six net carbs, uh, gra net grams of carbs per pita. And I can do like half a pita and stuff it with some chicken salad or something. And it just gives me, you know, something to, <laughs> to put my toppings on. And I enjoy having some bread every once in a while, but this is not um, something that's going to really throw you out of your low carb diet. Um, got some organic creamy peanut butter. This one, the stir peanut butter. We're looking at four grams net carbs for two tablespoons. Two tablespoons is a lot of peanut butter, guys. Um, sometimes for a snack at night, I'll just get some peanut butter, probably even one tablespoon, and I'll put it on some of this pita bread, and it tastes good. And then I also make um, fat bombs out of the peanut butter. Got me some Rouse Marinara. Rouse is pricey, but the lowest carb um, pasta sauce, marinara sauce there is. Um, five grams net carbs for half a cup. Now you gotta look at the servings because a lot of pasta and spaghetti sauces, they're only accounting for a quarter cup, but who uses a quarter cup of um, pasta sauce? So I'm gonna be using this um, for a couple different things. I make these little um, pizzas out of this pita bread. Um, put a tiny bit of rouse sauce, some um, mozzarella cheese, and usually bacon and pepperonis, which is all keto and all amazing. Um, so I'm going to be using that for that and for this. Um, this pasta zero spaghetti, it is shirtake um, noodles, and I've had it before. It's basically already cooked for you, but then you um, boil it just a little bit. But it has, um, where are we at? Two grams of net carbs for half of this. And half of it's probably good enough for a serving. But I've had it before. I don't think I cooked it long enough because it still had a really, like, thick, bitey, like, super, super al dente <laughs> texture. But I'm going to give it a try again. So, that got a big old bag of these real bacon pieces. I had a few of these, but I wanted to grab some more because I do like to do some salads. Put that on my salads or just throw it into some scrambled eggs. Now that I'm looking at my stuff here, they didn't get my blue cheese salad dressing, so I'm going to have to run out. I didn't see that as a missing item on my grocery pickup. Dang it, I'm going to have to get some blue cheese. So I got this um, butter lettuce for some... What is it called? Um... The kind of salad that you have blue cheese and boiled eggs and bacon. I don't know, but that's what I make. <laughs> I 
And then here's my other veggies here. Got some broccoli, some green onions just for flavoring things, some zucchini, a bunch of this tricolor coleslaw. All of these things are super low carb veggies. Um, I think one thing that people mess up on when they're doing keto is they just think all veggies are okay. Um, carrots, onions, tomatoes all have a bunch of carbs and that would not technically be keto. So, um, broccoli obviously just for a side. The zucchini, and I'm really glad they picked me some nice big zucchinis. I'm going to have these and then stuff them with some ricotta cheese, put some mozzarella and parmesan on top with some, some of my Rao's marinara. And kind of make like a um, chicken parmesan, but with not, not with chicken, just with zucchini. In fact, I could just probably throw some chicken in there too, but I don't know. That, that all sounded good to me. And then with the coleslaw, there is a little bit of carrots in there, but not enough to, you know, add a bunch of carbs. Um, the coleslaw, I make like to make something called crack slaw. And um, I have a bunch of recipes that I was using... Um, if you guys care to watch any videos about some keto recipes that I make, um, I kind of got it narrowed down to the things that I like. So um, even though it's been over a year since I've done it, I, I kind of know the meals that I'm going to be making. So it, let me know if you want to see some of those recipes. Got some avocados, some organic avocados. I really prefer to get um, my avocados from Fresh Market because they're bigger and um, always taste better. But anyway, avocados are an awesome thing to just eat on the side with some salt and pepper or to add to salads, add to um, put it on my pita bread with some meat and cheese. And then I got these mashed cauliflower sides, obviously for side dishes. <laughs> got the sour cream and chive flavor. And I usually add bacon and cheese to that um, just because I'm allowed to. <laughs> and then I got two bags of the rice cauliflower. Um, it's really, really small pieces of cauliflower all chopped up into like a grain of rice size. And I'm sure I could, you know, buy cauliflower and put it in the blender and do it myself. But I'm a single mom and I need to have as much time as possible to um, spend with my son not cooking. So I'm going to use this to make fried rice. And I just, um, I guess I'll show you a recipe if you care to see it. But I usually use uh, sausage like a um, Kanaka sausage or something, cut it up real small, and then eggs and green onions, sesame oil, soy sauce, and make some fried rice. And then some hummus. This roasted pine nut is my favorite flavor. I could just eat this plain, honestly, but I will probably put, again, some on my pita bread. <laughs> and then Rebel ice cream. If you guys can find this, um, it's usually pretty pricey. But at Walmart, it's not too bad. It's like four something for this size. And it has four grams of net carbs per pint. They do use sugar alcohols, which is how they get some of the, or take away some of the carbs. But this flavor is awesome. They have a bunch of different flavors. The butter pecan, I like. And I usually add some chopped up walnuts to it, just because. Then I got some burgers. These are just cheap burgers, um, the Walmart brand. And I want to say, oh yeah, 75% lean. So you want your meat to be as fatty as possible. Um, and I'm going to ma be making my own burgers, but I want to have these just in case I need to make some quick meals. Then I got two of these packages of ground pork. I think it's a pound and a half each. This is what I use to make my crack slaw. Um, crack slaw is basically ground pork, this coleslaw, sesame oil, soy sauce, I do some green onions, and I think that's about it. Garlic pepper, you know, whatever seasoning you want, but it is so good, that's why they call it crack slaw. Um, so I got two of those because I'll be making mass batches of food to make it easy for me. Um, two things of chicken tenderloins, um, I have a bunch of recipes I'm going to make with that. Chicken thighs, so the boneless, skinless chicken thighs, you want, um, like I said, the fattier meats, so chicken thighs are good. And I'm probably going to um, probably gonna do something in my crock pot with this. I don't really know yet. Um, heavy whipping cream, I'm going to be using that in my coffee. Um, 
eggs, more eggs, always eggs. Eggs are like the best keto thing you could have. And then I got these cheese sticks for snacks that I could bring to work. Um, just some cheddar cheese for my burgers. And there's some things I don't have here, but that I would suggest if you want to get into keto. Um, have some cream cheese, some swerve sweetener, um, which I already had, some cocoa powder, I use the, I use that for my fat bombs, coconut oil, avocado oil, um, I already have a ton of bacon, and what else, macadamia nuts, they ran out of macadamia nuts, I did see that, I had it in my uh, shopping cart for the Walmart pickup, and then um, like halfway through my shopping, they ran out of them, so I'm going to go probably to BJ's and grab some more macadamia nuts, because those are good to snack on. Other nuts like walnuts and um, almonds are good. Cashews, although I like them, they are higher carb because technically cashews are a fruit, not a nut. So anyway, guys, um, this is just my keto haul to get me back healthy. I need to lose some weight because I feel like garbage. And I'm going to do a little Dollar Tree haul after this. Or at least I'm going to go check out the Dollar Tree to see if I can add anything to my preps. But um, I'll see you guys in a few. Okay, so I was able to grab some things from the Dollar Tree. Um, the first things I wanted to grab specifically are light sources. Um, I grabbed three more of these candles. These are the scentless, um, no color, no smell, anything like that, um, candles. I have a, quite a few of these, but you can never have too many candles. And the reason I wanted to do this is because of everything that's going on in Texas right now. I'm in the south, um, Florida particularly, and we do not plan for increment weather. Um, basically, if there's a hurricane, is the only time you're thinking about the weather. Um, never gets cold enough to have to worry about that, really. It's about 35 degrees right now, which is pretty darn cold for us. But um, everything that was going on in Texas with the, the situation with the grid failure, I wanted to make sure, just in case, to have some extra light sources. I still need to be able to find a gas heater. I have not been able to find a gas space heater anywhere. But um, So some candles. I grabbed these solar steak lights. I thought they were kind of cute. They have the silver tops. Um, these things, I do plan on putting in my along my walk uh, going up to my front door but you can take this can't do it with one hand but you can twist that part off um, after it's you know been in the light and stored up some solar power you can take this off just the top and stick it in like a mason jar and it uh, puts off some pretty good light so these are indoor lights if you don't have um, flashlights which every prepper should have um, but yeah grab five of those a bunch more of these treats for my dog at the Dollar Tree. I always grab these. Um, can never have too many doggy treats. Gotta think about your uh, pets and your children when you go out prepping, guys. <laughs> Cotton swabs have nothing to do with prepping. I was just running low. Shoelaces. My son did, did something to mess up his shoelaces, and so I needed to grab just a single pair. But there were six for a dollar. And I thought, he's probably going to mess them up again. It can never hurt to have extra shoelaces. And there's quite a few things you can do with shoelaces. Basically, it's rope. Um, and, yeah, can't hurt to have some extras around. And I've been into um, stockpiling, like, fix-it type items. A um, bunch of uh, tape, glues, that kind of thing to repair items. So I got some clear packing tape. I have duct tape and all that other stuff. Some super glue fix all adhesive. And just looking at this, I hate to say this, but it reminds me of that girl that used the Gorilla Glue as hairspray. That's a sad, sad day. I'm sorry that that happened to her, but it wasn't a smart move. Um, some electrical tape. This stuff is awesome because it's flexible and sticks really, really well. So I got some fixer type items. I grabbed some coffee. These are vacuum packed like bricks of coffee and it says best by 10 of 2022. In this packaging I guarantee it'll last a lot longer than that and I thought even if this isn't the coffee I prefer to drink, coffee is an amazing barter item. 
Um, people who are used to having coffee every day, if for some reason they can't get the coffee, they will go nuts. I could probably trade this thing of coffee to a coffee addict for um, quite a bit of goods. <laughs> then over here got some other things grabbed some more of these these are um powdered or is it powdered chicken bouillon which i like because the little um coop cubes can't speak cubes of bouillon are kind of hard to um dissolve in water and these are just super easy they have like a four or five year shelf life and there's a bunch of them in there for chicken broth and then spices I'm trying to load up on spices and seasonings because one, they'll last forever. Two, these are going to be invaluable in a, a grid down or stuff hits the fan situation um, just to spice up and season all my long-term <laughs> food storage type things. And also good to, you know, barter or to have if anyone else in your neighborhood needs it. So I just grabbed some steak seasoning. I've never tried this before. I've seen a lot of people get it though. Uh, Badia Complete Seasoning. It's a Sazon. And then these guys, uh, Red Lobster Seafood Seasoning and Longhorn Steakhouse Grill Seasoning. I don't know. Just thought they would be good to have. And um, even though, oh, wow, Best Buy 2025. This stuff lasts forever, guys. You know that you have seasonings in your like spice cabinet that have been there for like five, six, seven years and you're still using them. Don't lie. You know you are. And then I grabbed six cans of this white turkey. Never seen this brand before, but I compared this price um, to the Walmart brand canned turkey, and this actually was cheaper. So a dollar for five ounces, and I think it was two fifty for a ten ounce can at Walmart. So I am stocking up on my meats. Can make some turkey pot pie or something with that. And then just, I always grab some of these breadcrumbs and panko because they're cheaper at the Dollar Tree. And my son loves um, what he calls crunchy chicken. It's just breaded chicken and I use panko and Italian style breadcrumbs for it. And then over here, just some random things. I need some bathroom cleaner, some bathtub cleaner. One more can of this disinfectant spray, which I noticed. Okay, so this can is six ounces. I noticed that they have this same exact one, but in a two ounce can at the Dollar Tree. Like why would you buy a two ounce can when you can get a six ounce can for a dollar? So I grabbed one more of those. And then these little mini packs of hand sanitizer. So 24 packs at 70% alcohol. And I just thought this would be really handy, <laughs> no pun intended, <laughs> to keep in my car, in my purse, or in my little um, first aid kit. So I got a couple of those. Pretty good deal, I think. And then I was able to find the infamous mason jars. These are actually some pretty good mason jars. Um, they have the seal just like the bell jars, or ball, I'm sorry. <laughs> they are made by, if you can see, Anchor Hawking. So Anchor Hawking makes a bunch of glass products and storage type things, but grabbed six mason jars. I probably should have grabbed more. Um, yeah, that's what I got. Guys, um, anything that you know that you use on a normal basis, try to stock up on it because with possible and likely inflation happening, um, all these things that you normally don't spend much on are going to get more expensive. I mean, it's, uh, there's no way around it. Inflation has to happen. I mean, it's, it's coming. So just prepare for it. Stock up on everything you can. And like I said, do a prepper self checkup and go through the list and see what you're needing within yourself, within your preps, and basically pray up, prep up, and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.